Video, man, hanging around a lot of people doing video, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's growing on me, you know what I mean? I think I'm ready. I come in for the iPhone 8. You know? All the tech people say, hold off on the 7s. We'll go to the right? All good. There's something that will actually be What up guys, Mike G with MDG Collections on hand. Today, May 23rd, 2017. Got the car wrapped and welcome. 392 badging was added on. Lorenzo did an incredible job. It's gonna be a little bit of a tough video to do. I'm gonna be trying to show you SunTech PPF, how this guy got this car wrapped to incredible precision I mean he used great precision the camera probably won't even be able to pick up exactly where the uh, clear shield you can see a little piece right there that's still healing right now I mean incredible job he did as far as precision wise alright so I'm going to go over exactly what I got done. Both mirrors on both sides. Fully wrapped. See if I can get as close as I can so you can see the line. Back here, he had to actually use his own cutout skills to get this done if I can focus. Because they didn't make an actual cutout for the mirrors. I got the... Uh, the whole car wrapped, the whole hood done, the front of the car completely done, the headlights done. I mean, like I said, it's going to be a very tough video to do because you can't even really pick up. You'd have to be with, with, with the car in person to really see the precision that's made, how, he, how well he did this, how well he added this SunTech PPF on the car. Uh, let me just see if I can find a spot that's easy to pick up on camera. This piece here, all right, here's the line. This is actually right here is a line. Not sure if you can pick that up. That's one piece that wraps around here. And then the second piece is here. So that's two pieces, and then this is actually a third piece down here. So it's a three-piece computer precision cutout piece of film for uh, the 2017 Charger or the 2016 or the 2015. They're all the same body style. The uh, entire hood is done. All of my doors are done. My rockers are done. As you can see, he added on the uh, 392 badging, which is basically a three-dimensional. It's not just the uh, the sticker that you get when you get a 2017 Daytona. It's actually the type of uh, three-dimensional decal that you would get when you get a SRT or a Hellcat or something like that. My rockers are done all the way from front to back. The doors are done all the way even up under here maybe you can see under there probably not this video is going to be very tough to do both doors all the way back this lower panel from this line down wrapped all the way around the only part I didn't get wrapped for now I'll be doing that on phase two maybe in a few weeks or maybe a month or so is from here this line up on the back of the trunk because the uh, 2017 Charger didn't have cutouts for that. The Challenger did, had a cutout for the top lid trunk and the uh, very top of the uh, 
the roof of the car, but the charger for some reason didn't have those cutouts. So he would have, you know, had to have the car maybe a day, an extra day, and he didn't want to rush the, the job. So he just basically stopped at what we actually decided we were going to do. But I'll be going back to get the, uh, the roof done with the cutout of the uh, sunroof satellite antenna cut out that'll be wrapped also and basically from that line up will be wrapped right now from that line down is wrapped all the way around buff guy got out the uh, scuffs good enough uh, he got 95% of it out 5% that was left the wrap actually fills in those crevices and he did a pretty good job on that slight little line there that still shows but I'll deal with it all right I think I can do a better job now if you look right there there's the line and up is SunTech and then below that is the paint so that line up is SunTech and then that line below the little strip right there is the paint the mirrors he had to do on his on his own he did a pretty good job good enough for me the most important part of that mirror that needs to be wrapped is this vulnerable area here where rocks will come up screen right over your 392 hit boom and it bounce off so I'm not really worrying about this little piece that's open right there I mean for the most part that was all done by hand it's good enough for me Alright, then basically here, if you look close, you can see a line right there, a little curve right there where my tip of my finger is. That's how that wraps around. So, when I get comments on this video saying I can't see a damn thing, that means this guy did a damn good job. Because, like I said, a very tough video to do. I'm trying to show you a SunTech PPF wrap car when it's so close to the, to, the, to the fender, so each edge of a fender, you can't even tell it's even wrapped. It looks like the paint of the car. It looks like nothing is on this car. But literally, 95% of the car is wrapped, except the uh, the roof and the uh, the trunk lid, which is basically top, very top of the car and the very top of the, the trunk lid. Everything else is wrapped. Here's the uh, angle that can really be picked up on if you look at it close. You can pick up on the three-dimensional 392. Like I said, I want it to stay in the same family as the uh, Daytona and just have 392 and not have the Hemi name under it. Daytonas don't come like that. They come just with 392, so I want it to stay in that same family. But of course, separate my Daytona a little bit from everybody else's and have a three-dimensional 392 instead of just that sticker that flat matte sticker that that's on the car when you buy it from the factory I wanted a Daytona I just didn't want the uh, decals I'm not a real decal type of a person honestly I really don't care for decals on my car so I wanted the same options that you get on a Daytona but minus the decals so I wanted that clean SRT or Hellcat look with the uh, options of a Daytona period so that's why I got my car with the decal delete but of course when you get it with the decal delete they take off your 392 stickers so what I what did I do purchase three-dimensional 392 stickers as you can see right here it's like a matte gray type black so it pops a little bit on the actual body of the car so it's a little bit of course lighter than the body and of course it's three-dimensional as you can see so it sticks out it's just not flat like I like how I said when you get the car with the stickers matte stickers that comes on it Here's the uh, passenger side one right here. And 
what you're seeing, the reflection, of course, in the background, that grass and my fence that's on top of SunTech PPF film. That is not the, the, the paint. That is not the, the, the paint of my car, what you're seeing. That's actually plastic film. It looks like paint. It's incredible. So my whole car literally is pretty much protected. On the rear of the car, even here, where your trunk opens in this little piece that's right here that gets scuffed when people put luggage in, the, in, in your trunk when they're trying to go to the airport, you're trying to do somebody a favor, that's all wrapped. I always make sure I, I lift up extra high so that it doesn't scuff, but if a mistake was made, my car is protected right there also. All the way down. Roll this around. That's all done also. All the way down. Like I said, rockers from the front of the car all the way to the back of the car are done. Doors from bottom to top are done. Under here, where people have rings on and they go to open your door, that's done all the way up. Mirror's done all the way around. Both sides. Front panel done. Front of the car, front nose of the car, front hood of the car, top of the hood. incredible job not really sure if this can pick up on camera but overall that's my wrapping of my uh, 2017 Dodge Daytona 392 and ladies and gentlemen that's going to be a wrap